This is going to be a four series uh, video because we are going to work those thighs, shape and sculpt those thighs. I'm going to give you so many exercises, your thighs are going to explode. All right, so let's get it going. All right, this first exercise is a killer, but it is awesome for those thighs. They are Laura London lunges, all right? So what we're doing is we are lunging for 10 steps. We are doing a stationary squat for 10 reps. We're walking 10 more, and we are stationary lunging again. I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then I want you to come back and do it again. All right, here we go. I see a bird up there, all right? So we are lunging. Keeping our body nice and straight, never putting the uh, knee over the toe. We're lunging. Make sure you are going down for your full lunge, all right? I want you to do 10 lunges. When you hit 10, you are doing 10 stationary lunges. Two, three, four. You're gonna feel this, five in your quad. Six, seven, keep it going, eight, nine and ten we come back up we are lunging again for another ten and then we are going on our opposite leg and we're doing another ten stationary lunges all right but that's not it we're turning around and we're going back and we're lunging for another ten walking lunges 10 stationary lunges, 10 walking lunges, 10 stationary lunges. Your legs are gonna be on fire. If you can't do all those repetitions, cut it back, maybe 10 walking lunges, 10 stationary lunges, and back. Do what you can do, but I want you to challenge yourself. You tell me you want those thin thighs. You have to work for them, all right? We're gonna be talking about intensity. Thanks. All right, are your legs on fire? I know they are, that's my mission. Okay, second exercise, we're staying here. We're gonna be doing plie squats. And then we're gonna be doing what I call the little ballet routine, okay? So here, look at my feet. We're in a nice toe pointed out position. We're gonna be squatting down and our knees are going outward. We're gonna do that for 10. And then we're gonna go into the little ballet routine. So just watch and learn, okay? We're working those inner thighs now. Here we go for 10. One, two, notice how my body's nice and straight. Three, four, feel those inner thighs. Five, get a nice glute squeeze on the way up. Six, seven, eight, yep. Nine, not so bad, right? Okay, that was 10. Bring it on down. This is what we're doing. We are coming up on our tippy toe for 10 on the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Oh yeah, we're working those calves. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and no, we are not done. 10 on each toe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, whoop, you can come up. That was great, working the inner thigh, the quads, the glutes, and those calves, all right? That was a real good one. Now we're gonna move on to a 30 second cardio blast for our thin thighs. Workout circuit here is a fusion cardio blast. I am one of the first master JNL fusion trainers. The fusion is awesome. You can go check out fusion at jnlfusion.com. We are going down for 30 seconds of snatch and grabs to work those quads. All right. What we're going to be doing? We're squatting down. We're jumping forward and jumping back. 
jumping forward, jumping back. And again, always adjustable. If it's a little jump, a big jump, just push yourself. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm using my gym boss. Setting that timer. Okay, we can do this, come on. Ready? Hopefully it works. <laughs> Run and back, and front and back. Keep it going. You can do anything. I'm telling you, anything for 30 seconds. Sometimes it feels like the longest 30 seconds, but trust me, you can get through it. All right, keep it going. Come on. Work those legs, feel them burning. I want you to feel them. You need to feel those legs, all right? That's the only way, I told you we could do it, to make those changes, is to really feel them and push yourself. No baby workouts here at Laurel London Fitness, because you know I demand results. Okay, we're moving on. Last exercise, and you know what? I love working the legs together, but working them separately is, brings about amazing results also. Each leg working independently, struggling to lift and move that body, get you those thin thighs, great results. So this is what we're doing. Watch this. You need something very sturdy to hold on to. Okay, it could be at the gym. Sometimes I hold on to a machine at home, maybe a staircase banister, something that you are not gonna fall over, okay? And what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our leg. First, I like to get a good stretch. So just stretch, because this is gonna work those hips. It's gonna work our glutes and our quads, every, everything from the waist down, even our pinky toes, all right? So let's do that. We got that nice stretch, because we're going down. All right, I'm gonna back it up a little here. Hold on tightly. We're going down and then up with a booty squeeze at the top. You know me, it's always a booty squeeze. I like to get double bang for my buck. All right, sometimes I'll come down and up. Down and up. You're gonna do 20 on each side, really pushing through that hill. Hill, hip, <laughs> heel, excuse me. Feeling those glutes on the way up. It should be right here, okay? Come on down and back up. Then we're gonna switch sides. And I'm going down again for 20 on this side. If you can go really low, that's awesome. Push up through that heel, feel it. Put your hand here, feel it working. Make that mind-muscle connection, all right? If you're a beginner, you can only go this low. Is that as far as your muscles will take you? That's fine, all right? There we go. Those are four excellent exercises. I want you to do those three times. So do four exercises, go back and do it again. And if you can, this is where you're gonna make the changes. Do that third set. It's that third set where you're just gonna burn out those muscles and feel everything. When you feel like you can't keep going, that's when you keep going. Dig deep. I say get that energy from wherever you can find it. Make those changes in your body. You are tougher and stronger than you even know. Trust me on this one. If you have any questions, Laura at lauralondonfitness.com. Subscribe to my channel. Come over to my Facebook page. You know I love comments. Send me your photos, your stories. You guys are why I'm here. So stay tuned for workout number two on thin thighs coming next week.